Hi everyone, in this video we, I am going to explain about human computer interaction. So first let's see the syllabus part. In the unit 1, there are like we need to cover importance of user interface, its definition and importance of good design, its benefits, history of screen design and in the second part we have GUI popularity and uh, concept of direct manipulation, graphical system, characteristics, web UI popularity, its characteristics and its principles. So let's start with uh, what is HCI. So HCI is human computer interaction. It is also known as computer human interaction or man machine interaction. Like it is the study of interaction between people and the users. So this HCI completely explains like how people are inter interacting with the computers that is the computing systems. So its definition goes like this, like it is a discipline concerned with design, evaluation and implementation of interactive com computing systems. That is like we know, uh, like we are interacting with the computers, like how that is designed, how it is evaluated and how it is implemented. These three terms are important in its definition, design, evaluation and implementation of interactive com computing systems. Okay, then what are the goals of this HCA? So the basic go goals are like we need to improve the interactions between the computers and the users and also we need to increase the usability of systems. Like a few people they don't know like how to use these things. So because of this HCA, the usability should be increased and the long term goals are, goals are like like we need to minimize the barriers like people uh, when they are not uh, habituated or they are, when they are not familiar with these things so they try to avoid uh, usage of these computing systems so we need to minimize these barriers that means we need to design this interface in such a way that people get attracted and start using it more effectively and other thing is like we need to accomplish uh, computers understanding of the user's tasks i mean like here people are understanding computer stuff but computer should also understand the user stuff this is a long term goal yeah now coming to user interface so as i said hci is a study of interaction between people and the computing systems now user interface is the subset of this hci that means now here this hci is including the study of planning designing like how people and computers are working together and this user interface is a subset of this hci and it is the part of computer. Now this user interface has two components like input and output. Coming to input part, like how a person communicates his or her needs with the computer. Like say suppose like he can give input to the system using a keyboard, mouse, like with his voice like we have a speech recognition things also nowadays. So this all comes under input part. That means like how a person is able to communicate uh, all his needs to the system. And coming to output, now computer giving its results, all its computations, whatever the people uh, is required, all these results coming back to the user are output components. Output is like the most common one is the screen, the monitor screen. And in this user interface, like a few things are unexplored. Like in the input part, I have said like speech is one part which is it is able to recognize and sensors that is also one part touch all these things but this touch part and the smell part are still unexplored that means th there are still researchers going on this two areas and coming to the importance of ui why this user interface is more important for us because like most of the people when they want to communicate with the system they rely on this user interface right so now like uh, it is their window to view all the capabilities of the system so whenever you give a device you give an interface to a, a person now he will try to understand what are the capabilities let's say suppose when i give an uh, app to a, a kid uh, say suppose let's take an instagram as an uh, um, example here it's an interface right so when we give uh, it for a ninth or tenth cl class student now he tries to explore everything like how can i create a reel how can i post uh, new things like how can i create a few layouts like uh, putting a video video uh, image uh, side by side how to add music all this so now it is their window to view all the capabilities of that system and uh, and the other thing is like now this user interf uh, interface impacts organizations relationships with customers that means it has direct uh, impact on the customers that means if it is very good then uh, people start using it without any uh, uh, complexities so that uh, when people started using it that means when number of subs uh, like people started in installing this instagram app then the pers uh, the company the organization gets more profitability right so this this is what uh, one of the importance and 
other thing is like screen layout affect the people that means if the screen layout is very neat and clean then they can do their works very easily like if the screen is like all the uh, components are side by side it is not clear then it is confusing to the people and it is very inefficient also for them and because of this reason they can't complete their task say suppose uh, some people they post some useful uh, content on the instagram app like they post uh, things right uh, like daily news like let's take uh, hindustan times as one of the uh, instagram page if like their aim is to post a daily updates in the instagram app but when the options are not clear when it is giving trouble to them they can't uh, 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 done, uh, do their task properly right and they do some mistakes also like they can't tag people correctly and all these things so screen layout is one of the important thing and other uh, other one is like proper design so when the design is not proper we feel like frustrated about what is this like it's always uh, uh, like confusing to me why it's like this so we pe we people think like that and because of that that reason we cannot complete all our tasks in in time and because of that reason we increase our frustration is increased stress is increased and all this so hope you got the importance of ui yeah now coming to the next topic the importance of good design why a good design is actually necessary for us so many researchers they they are uh, doing a research on this like they are saying as uh, like we have increased technology tools are getting increased we get, we are getting variety of tools but why is still we are producing an inefficient uh, system interfaces like why they are still confusing why they are unusable for us so researchers are uh, are questioning like is it because we don't care about the things like is it because we don't have time or uh, we we don't possess any common sense or we don't uh, know what is what makes a design good so because of this like they did a lot of research and they are saying why it is inefficient is it because we don't care we don't have time or we don't know what makes it a, a good design so and when they got the feedbacks they said like people are uh, employ uh, like uh, they have time constraints workloads because of the those things they are unable to properly apply things so because of that reason they are producing inefficient interfaces so that means they are unable to give time for the good design i mean they are not uh, giving in uh, sufficient time for the designing part because of that reason when design is not proper they cannot make a good interface because of that reason like people get confused uh, the whole work gets uh, wasted right so for example here they said like um, a closed door with complete wood what is the use of it like suggestion is like glass door we can use a glass door right uh, for a closed purpose work so that's and coming to benefits of good design so and now we know like a good design helps in good clarity i mean screen clarity when screen is clarity i mean like the components are separated they are neat we can uh, without any confusion we can look at them we can read at them and like because of that reason 20% of the production has been increased that means with good design productivity has been increased by 20% and the second one is like proper for formatting of the information so when the information is properly formatted say suppose when you open a website say suppose some geeks for geeks or something so like in that website whenever we observe like the titles are they are like highlighted with some bold letters and other content in the normal font so here they are separating what is important what is uh, like a bit uh, ignored things so because of that reason we are directly able to what are the important points what are the images uh, which we need to remember for our exams so that formatting is uh, important uh, important because of that formatting our performance also increases right so we can able to remember things very clearly and our performance is increased and this good design helps in reducing the cost like uh, training cost and training times are also reduced and support line costs are reduced support line costs is like uh, assistant uh, guidance also reduces and if the design is good people uh, the employees get satisfaction and the frustration is obviously reduced and ultimately the organizations the customers related to that uh, organization are benefited and people can easily identify the problems and also resolve them and indirectly the company's economic benefits rise like anything and they develop 